Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, gonna be doing one of the art projects that I that I got the shells from on the Mother's Day thing when I went to the Marsh Museum in Long Beach, Washington. Um, I'm gonna do a one of the shell projects and then I'll do another shell project later. I have been working on this thing and it has been a booger. I thought it would be easy to put <laughs> resin in this. That's so wrong. <laughs> it uh, took me at least three times to stack it and put it in. If I was using UV resin, it would have been a lot faster, but I actually used regular resin in this. So, all right, here it is. It's gonna look really cool when it's done. Looks like the ocean's inside the shell and then I'll hang it as a pendant, but I'm gonna tell you what, booger, 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 booger. <laughs> it was one of those challenging art ones. Um, okay, so um, if you can't tell, I got some sun. I'm a little sunburned. I went out and I cleaned my garage, um, so I got a little bit sunburned. <laughs> This is a shell that we're going to work with and do the art project with. It's a really cool shell. I stuffed it with clay. And so the reason I stuffed it with clay is because I'm going to put an armature in here. I'm going to put the armature in and I'm going to bake the clay so the armature sets. We're looking at making a hermit crab today. Um, I'll show you in a minute what the hermit crab looks like that I made before because I tested it. I'm going to test it before I do anything on YouTube channel. So here it is. And I stuffed her with clay and then I'm going to put the armature in there and I'll show you how I'll do that. But I really like this shell. It's a very pretty one. We're going to make a little hermit crab come out with, with little tentacles and stuff. Okay. So I look forward to that. Uh, I'm excited to get started. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Hope you're enjoying my videos. Um, hope to make more. I do have other shell ideas and I might also do some unboxing later of some of the stuff I got. I saw, this is off the subject, but I saw the um, prototypes for the uh, new doorbells coming out. And I'm freaking out because I think it looks really cool and I think they're going to have ducktails come out and there was some other stuff that I, I saw Dumbo with flying, that flying ears. So the next series is where we're going to have ducktails and Dumbo. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's see what else can I think. Okay, that's about it. And I'll cut right now and we'll go to starting the armature. So we're going to start the armature. This is the cord I'm going to use because it's a little bit thick and it's nice. And it gets bendy. It's really bendy so it's easy to bend. Alright, so um, for you type A personalities right now, you're going to hate my video because I am not a type A unless I have to be a type A. If I have to be a type A, then I will measure and do stuff but if I'm not a type A person, I just don't measure at this point. Um, I just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> so if you need measurements, I'll say cut off six inches. I just made that number up. Good luck to all you eight type A personalities. <laughs> so <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to cut an arm out. Let's say this is the arm for the armature. For the hermit crab, we're gonna make a hermit crab, and I want to stick it in here, and then measure out what how much I want. First, I'm gonna curl the end. I don't know why I'm gonna curl the end. I think it because it'll stick in better to the clay. So we're gonna take this little needle nose plier here, and we're gonna curl around. until we got an end that's curly, a little bit curly. So just it'll stick in the clay a little bit more. So we have that end. 
Uh, it's nothing fancy. And we're gonna shove it in where we think, uh, we're gonna put end up putting like eight little armatures in here. So you gotta space them a little bit. And I'm gonna use a popsicle stick. Yeah, a popsicle stick. Let me get one out to shove it in a little bit more down into the clay. And you can just kind of shove it around, put it in place. After all the armatures are set, we're going to go ahead and bake them so that it sets in the clay and it won't come out. So we got one sticking out and trust me, uh, this is not how long the leg's gonna be. <laughs> This is what I'm going to set it at right now because I like to have a little room to move. And at the end, I'm going to curl the end with just one little curl with all the beads on it. Um, so I can cut it down to, if the leg ends up being this long, cut this down and then curl the end. And you know how that works. So let's just make another armature. I might speed this part of the video up because making armatures is not the fun part. Okay, we're at this point, right? Um, at this point, I'm gonna put two little ones at the top for um, the eyeballs. So these are all really like the legs. These ones are gonna be two different types of legs, but these four will be identical. And then I'm gonna put two at the top for some eyeballs. All right, so let's put two more in and then we'll be done. Okay, so now we are done with the armature. This will have to bake in the oven, 275, and because it's a huge hunk of clay, I'll probably go 45 minutes to an hour um, to set this clay completely. And then when it's set, everything's gonna be super stuck in there. We're not gonna have to worry about it moving around or nothing, we can put our beads on and just be free to move around with it. I love clay for that for that matter. It's a pretty good medium. You could, however, if you don't have clay, just make a ball of glue, I guess, and stick them all in there. But I prefer like having it move or be able to move around like this um, and have it all set in there right before you put the beads in. All right, I will come back when I have baked this thing and we're ready to put beads on. Okay, so we're back. Here is doo -doo 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 -doo, what happened after I fired it. Um, so the clay is super hard in there now and you can move all the little armatures around. So we're gonna go ahead and start the process and start with like an arm. These four on the outside are gonna be the arms. There's going to be two in the middle that are going to be arms too, but they're going to be different kinds. And I'm going to curl them a little bit so they give a little bit of dimension inside. And then here are the eyes that are going to happen. And we'll put little black balls on the top for eyes. <laughs> All right, so let's start. Straighten this guy out so we can start running things down on it. And take these little beads. I figure we can alternate colors on, the, on these little clay beads. Alternating colors.
I'll probably put music to this one too. It's <laughs> because it's going to be boring. Be boring otherwise. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna put some of these uh, beads on here as breakup for joints. Now, when I say that I I'm not real A type personality about measuring the the length of these, not in this craft anyway. I will um, count these though and do the same on each of the four legs. So we're going to make the four legs on the outside the same. All right, let's see. Let's see. So give them, let's give them a little bit bigger ball for a joint. We're going to make them have some joints here. And another tiny one. Pop that one down. A tiny one. This one on. Then we'll start again with our rings.
four legs done. These ones here are going to be a different type of leg coming in. It's going to, I'm going to curl it in. So it looks like there's interesting stuff coming out the center. Because some, you know, the little hermit crabs have those little, 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 little <laughs> teeth that come down. And we're going to go ahead and try to go ahead and mimic that with just curling it. Continue on. Okay, so I'm going to stop the thing for a minute. Let's see if we can take these little doodads. This is the way they have all those little doodads under their mouths. So we twist it a little bit, make it look interesting. Okay, twisted that, made it look interesting, gave her all their little doodads under their mouth, make it even a tighter curl if you pinch it just a little bit, a tighter curl on this one too, 
Now we'll do the eyeballs. The eye tentacle part. Alright, here we go. on them. So the little black beads made him stick out his eyes. Very cool. Big old eyeball on there. This little gold thing on there. This is our little guy. Is he cool? And you can pose him and you can put him in all different directions and things. Set him down. 
There's his little doodads under his mouth. His little claws. He put his claws up high. Maybe he's saying, hey! Putting his claws out further. Yeah. Isn't he cute? He's adorable, guys. We'll do the little thing. Go back this way. And you come back this way. And he looks at you. And he's like, Hello, I'm from under the sea. And now we've made a crab from under the sea. And he's kind of a decoration kind of thing. He's kind of a, a jewelry thing as well. You can think of him as that way. And you can use any beads and do any other things that you want to do to make him creative. He's all about whatever you want to imagine him as. Also, I've seen people use um, three tentacles on this side and three tentacles on this side instead of four and four like I did. But... Oh, I like him like that. I like him like that. And he just sticks out of the shell. And you've made yourself a little hermit crab. Alright, that was one of my crab projects I did from you for you from start to finish. <laughs> he's riding the wave. And he's nice and heavy because he's got the polymer clay in him. So he became quite heavy. Um, All right, guys, that was making a hermit crab. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Here's a little hermy. Isn't he cute? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he turned out pretty cool. I like him a lot. But you can do lots of different jewels and stuff and make him different. I just like these little ones because they were flexible, they were clay beads, so they became quite flexible and helpful during the situations because they can go in a tight space and not be cramped. So you gotta be careful kind of what you use in your projects because I kind of plan it out ahead when I go to know that if a bead's gonna be too rigid, I'm not gonna use that. But we used some colors and we did some stuff and it was a it's a long video for me but i'm gonna shorten it up for you guys um because a lot of it's a repetitive bead putting on process but i hope you enjoyed that way of doing it um come back i'll do some more uh shell projects um i think i'm gonna try to put the next thing is clay succulents inside of the shell. I've seen that done before. People, I'll clean the shell, but uh, people will put clay succulents in here as a little thing to hang up on the wall or um, have a little dish and maybe you put some clay succulents just here on the outside and then somebody can use this to put rings in or something like that. That'll be the next project. I love the outside of this shell though. Ooh, it's pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. All right, so there's that. Um, and then of course the resin in the half shells that made me go crazy. <laughs> I'll do that one too. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a good day. Thanks. Oh, my husband always wants to tell me, subscribe and like so that I can get more videos out there for you guys and you can see my algorithm or whatever and have it in your YouTube channels. Can you imagine? I've never thought I'd be in anybody's algorithm before <laughs> or even use that term. Okay, thanks for coming on. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.